My mate went bald years ago, but he still carries a comb around with him. He just can't part with it. <laughs> right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. A question I get asked a lot is, what apps can I use to watch older movies? Now, I'm not talking about movies from 2010. I mean, a lot of people like to watch content from the 80s. In fact, I don't know how old they actually are. But there are a couple of apps you can use on your Fire Stick to be able to watch those older movies. So that's what we're going to show you in this video. <laughs> right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so I know this video isn't going to appeal to a lot of people, but like I said, it is a question I do get asked a lot. So I wanted to do a video on it just so people can find ways to watch that older stuff. And let me know in the comments section down below what's the oldest movie that you know. Right, so if I jump over, I'm on the 4K Fire Stick, but this is going to work the same on any Amazon device. In fact, you'll be able to get them on all Android devices, but we're just going to be using the Fire Stick for this video. So as you can see on my home screen, we've got three different applications installed already that we can show you. And the first one is probably the best one, and it's called Amazing Classics. If we just load that up and give it a couple of moments, and another thing as well is no VPN is going to be needed for this app as we do see from a lot of different official streaming apps you do have to connect to the US to be able to access more content but I have found that these apps don't actually need a VPN to get that extra content in there so as we can see when we open amazing classics it comes up like this you've got your categories at the top there if we go down you've got editors choice you've just got loads of different options inside it and you can see from the images just how old these movies are and then if we want to watch one we can click on that it's going to give you a bit of information about it now you can click on play i mean i mean i mean need <laughs> i may need to blur a bit of this out just for copyright but i am letting it load up just so you can see how long it actually takes and as you can see we've started playing and that is a hell of an old movie but that's just one app that you can use to watch that very very old stuff Another one you've got is TV and movie classics. And like I said, I will show you how to get these in one moment. And you're going to see you've got exclusive content. So this is for paid subscriptions, which obviously we don't want. But it is an option if you do want to access more content. And the free preview section, there's not a lot in here, to be honest with you. But you can see just how old they are as well. To be honest with you, this is quite a dog shit app without the subscription. I don't know how much content you get when you are subscribed. But once again, we can click on it. It's going to give you a very little bit about it. And then you can click on play. It tells you the movie length as well. And then once it loads up, you can see once again, we're playing. And another good thing with these kinds of apps as well. So with them being licensed and having the correct permissions, you are going to find that the amount of buffering that you're going to get is pretty minimal. So if you have been trying to find those older movies on your free movie and TV show apps and you find that you do get a lot of buffering or it's dog shit quality, you shouldn't find that inside of these apps which are the best thing about them. Now one more that I am going to show you is classic movies and TV. Now if you load this up, I did find it did take quite a long time at first to load everything up, but once it had cached and loaded up once, you can see it loads up quite fast. I did choose the ad supported one, so obviously it's going to show you an ad before you start watching any content, but it keeps it free. Now you're going to see free films and shows, and you can scroll down this list and watch whatever thou wants. Thou wants a bit of Yorkshire coming out of there. <laughs> whatever thou wants, mate. And we're going to click on Unusual Treasure. Once again, tells you a bit about it, shows you the synopsis, I think that's the word anyway, or I've just made myself look a bit of a tit. <laughs> and we're going to click on play, give it a couple of moments. I did try it earlier, I'm just going to click on resume. And then once the ad's finished, you're going to see the movie or show that you've picked is going to start playing. And there you go, ding dangly do. So there are three different apps that you can try to watch your older movies and TV shows. And to get them installed on your device, it's super simple and it's as fast as installing anything else. If we do go to the Amazon home screen, in the top left, you're going to see the search icon. And what you can type in is just classic movies or even free movies. And you're going to see it come up underneath there in the search. Click on that. You're going to see it comes up with a bit of recommended content straight away. If we do scroll down the list, you will see it says apps and games. Now, not only the three that I've just shown you, there are a lot more in there as well. You've got TV and movie classics, 
amazing classics, classic movies and TV like we've just shown. And then you've got a lot of different ones you can choose from in here as well. And all you've got to do if you want to install one of these apps is click on whichever it is you want to download. And it's going to say get free to download. Click on that bad boy. Ding dang li do. We're set. And it's going to be installed on your device. Right, so like I said, it's not going to appeal to everybody. But it was a question I got asked a lot. And that's why I've made a video on it. And hopefully, if you've been, well, if you like this kind of content and you've been trying to find ways to watch stuff and you can't find them inside those third party apps, then this is going to be a great way for you to watch them. And as I said at the beginning of the video, comment the oldest movie or to, well, just movie that you remember right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Tara. right so i know this video isn't going to there we are.